Ladies and gentlemen, fight number three this evening will be contested in the women's flyweight division over three five-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, she weighed in at 56.2 kilos and trains out of Cariotti MMA, holding an undefeated professional record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jacinta the Juggernaut Austin. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She weighed in at 57.9 kilos and trains out of absolute MMA, holding an amateur record of five wins for four defeats. Tonight, she makes her professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lisa the Savage Kiriakou. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, John Sharp. Three, three minute rounds. Professional bout. Five, three five minute rounds. I, asked, I stand corrected. Three five minute rounds. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Three five minute rounds. Professional bout, John Sharp in charge. Round one. And here's that feeling out process that the boys earlier uh, failed to experience. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Again, with some nice jabs, some nice low kicks. Both girls have nice, strong posture, hands up tall. Oh! I tell you what. Yes, that was heard around the Melbourne Field and Callum Potter, that right hand landing flush, but Lisa ate it like a champ. I was going to say, put some mustard on it because she just ate it. <laughs> As she starts to press the action up against the cage, Jacinta Austin doing well so far of defending. Really nice underhook there by Lisa. Just gave you some nice pressure. Oh, oh, oh. Tell you what, she missed the takedown end, but muscle all the way. And some heavy ground and pound. And this, this is, is going to work way to the back. She's going to put a hook in. Oh, too tall. That's that, that's, uh, why well, we don't run to throw a hook in. She might be wise to try and grab a leg of, uh, of her opponent here to try and break it down that way as well. Because she's... Uh, Falling off like a uncoordinated koala right now. <laughs> That'll be the best way to describe it. Callum Potter, Lisa Kiriakou off to a fast start here. She landed some, some good shots prior to uh, finding herself in this position, Callum. Yeah, but uh, it's all changed now. Jacinta just do a little bit of a bob now. She can't leave her arm behind when she comes out the back end. But... Uh, a nice little break for her. Lisa had to stay a little bit more composed than with a dominated position, but Jacinta finds herself in all the avenue now to pay her back for a little bit of that ground and pound. Oh, a nice cage work. And she follows her corner's instruction to precision. She's back to her feet. And you'd have to think momentum still in the favour of Jacinta. Tell you what, Jacinta has some very sharp little stabby knees. And uh, again, as I pointed out before, they don't feel nice. Touching the knee and touching the midsection. Lisa needs to pummel her way back in, get to a, at least an even position with an underhook. Get her back off that cage. There we go, as she pummels through. Great work by Jacinta Austin. She landed a big overhand right before finding herself in a bit of bother. Now she's the one that's pressing the action. Lisa needs to find some room using her. Oh, oh very wow. nice reversal. And she's dropped for a guillotine, but no, she's going to release it, I believe. There you go. Well, and Lisa taking that momentum from just into there. The lady's showing great skills and actually some really great strength. Very, very technical fight here in round number one, just over halfway. Jacinta keeps tacking away with those knees. She's working towards the tied plum, but Lisa pushes her back into it. Really nice cage work. Lisa doing a really good job of pulling for those double underhooks. Obviously, double underhooks, one of the better leverage positions we can get hold of. Yeah, absolutely. And those knees, as you alluded to earlier, Callum Potter, not nice when you're on the receiving end. Oh, mate, they just keep tacking on, tacking on. 
again, muscles her way down with those double underhooks. As soon as she's able to secure that body lock, Lisa, she's got the, uh, the strength to force her opponent to the ground fairly easily. And that is just pure strength by Jacinda Austin. Back to her feet and finding a nice reversal there, Kellen. Looking It'll to be, separate, maybe. Be interesting to see now after a heavy grappling exchange how the girls reset. Here we go. Very good posture from Jacinta. Oh, wow. a nice big front kick. How does my heel taste? And that was right in front of oh, Lisa as well. To me, it appears Jacinta's the one that wants to get a little bit of the, uh, a bit more of the chin music going, but Lisa's saying, no, this is MMA. How about we grapple? Sounds good. So Lisa and her corner, she's oh, right in front of them now. Beautiful the chopping elbow. Jacinta's Muay Thai skills are, are very nice, but she's having some uh, wardrobe malfunctions yes. mid-fight. Yeah, definitely need to fix those, and a nice front kick there. Look at that. Very, uh, very Muay Thai style, and I love the way she's adapting it for her mate. Nice feints. It seems to be working so far. Yeah. Nonetheless, she does eat a few shots from Lisa. Jacinta's owning that straight corridor, though. Lisa's throwing a lot of those rounded punches. And you can hear the, the corner of uh, Lisa Kiriaku saying she's going around the corner just a bit too much. She may have success going straight, Kelly. Exactly right, mate. Shortest distance between two places. Absolutely indeed. And there's a takedown just after the bell. <laughs> between our break. John Sharp signals us for round number two. Second five minute round of a possible three. Here at Eternal. 59 Ooh, and a yeah. big knee by Jacinta there. That knee was always coming. And the second one too. That landed right on the wow. nose. I'm trying to see if there's any claret coming. Not so much. Oh, don't oh, put your head no. down there. There's nothing nice down there for your face. It would appear to me that Lisa's actually a little bit more, more fatigued than, uh, than Jacinta. She's got to be careful on her entries there. She doesn't want to eat too many more of those no, knees, Callum Potter. Jacinta looks very sharp right now. I think she's going to try to uh, really wear down Lisa in this round. Jacinta oh. Austin starting to loosen up oh, here. Oh, left hook there. That hurt her. Mixing it up, going to the legs, coming back up to the head. Jacinta Austin. Oh. Landing again. Oh. And again. Tell you what, she's got a bit of Yo Joanna Young Jake chick about her, just chopping in and going to work. Precision. Not discriminating, legs, body, head, everything gets a touch. You'd have to think Lisa Kiriakou would have to close that distance fairly quickly. Jacinta Austin really starting to find oh. her range as she does so again. Nice right hand straight over the top. Very bad place to be in a fight if you're the one. Oh, there's a spin. Oh, very nice underhook there by Jacinta. See, it's a very sad place to be in a fight where you're the one chasing the takedown, but you are also the more fatigued fighter. Sometimes it becomes hard to really secure your takedowns. You haven't got those really nice skilled trips and, and, and uh, quick power doubles. Oh, now Jacinta's starting to overwhelm her, I believe. Wow. Well, here we go. We'll find out. Jacinta Austin. Just taking all the momentum here in round number two. Nonetheless, Lisa Kiriaku still well and truly oh, in this fight. Good. They separate again. The balance faints and she's always on her toes again. Extremely Joanna Janjajic uh, style. Oh, wow. big step in, elbow. Doing it for the Greyhounds. That one just skimmed across the nose of Lisa oh. Kiriaku. She comes back with a right hand of her own. Oh, these girls are fighting. And this fight has come to life here at oh, Eternal 59. Oh. Oh. oh! That beautiful Muay Thai style where there's no feeling, nothing is there to feel at. Everything is meant to hurt. Those front kicks are hurting, the punches are hurting, the elbows are hurting. Yes, indeed, Callum Potter. You'd have to think here in round two, this is probably as safe as it gets for Lisa. Jacinta was just teeing off on her at will earlier on. That's twice in this round, though. Uh, Lisa's secured double unhooks, and Jacinta's been able to pummel back in, which was Lisa's most dominant position in that first round. Indeed, it was. Just under two minutes here left in round number two. I'll tell you what, keep counting those knees. They're about to come through, I believe. If we get a break here, I look for uh, Jacinta to throw a nice little quick elbow. 
Oh, there's those knees again, Callan. And oh, wow. Oh. Down goes Lisa Kiriakou oh. and Jacinta Austin. Yeah. Tell you what, not where she wanted to be. No, but exactly where Jacinta wants to be, especially yeah. with a minute 30 left to work, Callan. Oh, I tell you what, I think she might get a little bit of clarity out of here. She can make some distance to throw some elbows. She's looking to pass that half guard. She might want to uh, keep hold of that and use that to pin her opponent to the ground. Posture up, get some work done. And a great place to be for Jacinta right in front of her corner. Well, it depends how, depends how much you like your corner. Some of us don't like our corner that much. We'd rather be away from them. Are you speaking from experience here, oh, Kelly? Oh, Dan Kelly, I love you, mate. I promise. <laughs> Shout out to Dan Kelly. Oh, she's got the nice little collar. And there's those elbows. I think that's what she's going to look to chase some of, some of those elbows. It's like Lisa's sort of formulating her way around. But great top game. Straight to a mouth position. Wow. I'll tell you what, if we uh, get some separation here, we could be in big trouble. And this is strong oh, from Jacinta. She can't give her back here, Kellen. No. Oh, oh. Jacinta Austin. She's got in 30 a great seconds spot. to try and work that under the neck. She's got a nice tight hooks in. Oh, just oh, Lisa, very experienced back defense. But she's rolling straight to the armor. Not out of the woods yet, oh, but great she defense. Go, she's popped out belly down Russian style. Oh, I tell you what. Ten seconds oh. left in this fight. Oh! Can she hold on? Can Lisa oh, hold on? Can Jacinta get a submission? Oh, wow. wow, my goodness! What a, what a finish for round two. Let's have a look at that arm. I think it's fine. I think it went to a normal Plata style position by the end there. Third five minute round coming up. Here in our first pro fight of the evening. I love that style. As soon as she comes such a straight back on her toes, straight back to work. Lots of feints still. Oh, those leg kicks coming in. Knees coming. I love how she's opted now for a, a bit of a face palm as a, as a takedown defense. That's what she's trying to set up through it. Face palm to elbow. Absolutely, and it's the uh, technical intricacies that uh, Jacinta's employing seem to be the difference so far. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in these later rounds, Jacinta's been very calm, very basic what she wants to accomplish. The areas where Lisa was dominating in that first round, she's sort of faded away as the fatigues come on. Well, she's showing great heart here, as she did so well, defending that armbar at the end of round number two. Lisa Kiriakou continues to fight on here in round number three, finds herself a reversal. Jacinta Austin. Back up against the cage. Good spot for Lisa so far. Yeah, this is where she needs to get the work done. Keep her pressed against the cage, even if she can't score a takedown. And some little damage of herself, like she's doing. Because as soon as she gets in the open... Oh, oh, beautiful Kosoto Soto trip. And this is big. This is big, especially in this fight. This yeah. is a big moment in the fight for Lisa Kiriakou. Oh, I tell you what, this is huge. This early in the round, when she gets a top game work done, Very good coaching there by Simon Carson, calling for the half guard for attention. Well, you can hear it so clearly, and Lisa seems to be following to perfection, but Jacinta Austin. Oh, she's gone back on that back, but she's going to stay lower this time. Oh, she's uh, gone for a flat now. She's learned from oh, the first there round. There we go. Now she needs to free her hands to get some punching done. Oh, she's working for a uh, head arm choke, but no, there might be a gift wrapped opportunity here if she can get it. Lisa oh, she Kiriakou has two. in a great position here in round number three. How long can she keep the fight here? This is a, this is a great turnaround for Lisa. She looked a little bit more fatigued in that second. She's bit down. This is what pro MMA is all about, being able to bite, bite down in those late rounds. Bring the fight to where you go. Jacinta from the bottom is looking to set up a triangle yes. with that wrist control. She retained full guard. She's done quite well at defending here, Kelly. Yeah, we've got to remember, she did hit that uh, that armbar at the end of the second round from her back. So she obviously has got a guard game. Oh, but she's, got, she's opted to stand back up, which I think is a much better choice. Oh, oh well done, well done. She's going to chuck those hooks back in. Oh, no, poor choice. And the koala's back, not good. And what a turn of events oh, here in And she's going three. straight to a mount position, straight to the back. How quick are these transitions? Jacinta Austin in a dominant position as she takes the back of Lisa Kiriakou. Oh, there, there's a just enough time for her to get some work done. I'll tell you what, if she actually mixed some punches in with this choke attempt, she might be able to cinch it in. 
how quickly the tide can turn. Oh, she's trying to trap an arm with that leg. BJ Penn style. Lisa's going to look to roll back into a dominant position. Wow. She has good composure here from the back, Lisa. I'm very impressed with that. She's defending her neck well. She knows in which direction she wants to roll out of. Well, both women very just... calm and composed. They know what to do. It's a matter of who can get the better. Oh, it's straight to a mount. This is probably a little bit worse, I reckon. Because if uh, Jacinta can posture up, I'm sure she's going to mix in some elbows very quickly. Oh! And this is good from Jacinta, just making Lisa work, making her carry her Callan. Isn't she just? I think she's going to be very fatigued when they get back to the feet, which is no holiday with Jacinta either. No, not at all. And with just over a minute left, round three seemed to be all Lisa Kiriakou. Until now, Jacinta Austin taking charge of this fight. Again, Lisa doing a great job defending, but as we pointed out in earlier fights, defense doesn't score your points. She needs to really break free from there and impose her game. Oh, straight to that nice body triangle. Great way to introduce your intestines to your spleen. She's managing to land some shots there too. Nothing that bothers Lisa, but just letting her know she's still there. She lands again. There we go. She's punching her way into that choke now. Much harder to escape that body triangle. She's got to be careful with that. That uh, ankle lock that, uh, yes. Jacinta, that uh, Lisa's trying to set up on Jacinta. But I'll tell you what, she's, uh, she's like a hard, hard young lady to me where I don't think a broken ankle is going to fail her too late in the fight. Well, with 10 seconds left. I think she's going to roll for that arm lock again. Here in round number three. Oh. These young ladies go the distance. Stand so up. ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout 29 to 28, 29 to 28, and 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Jacinta the Juggernaut Austin. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner, Jacinta Austin, and a fantastic back-and-forth fight there with Lisa Kiriakou. Now moving to 2-0 in your pro career. We really got to see a bit of everything there. There were some great wrestling exchanges, striking, and jiu-jitsu as well on the mat. Was it a game plan to just sort of take the fight where it goes, or did you have a, a particular skill set that you wanted to try and force? Um, we were always open to sort of take it wherever it goes. There was actually quite a strict plan in place. Um, and it didn't go that way, but that's all right. We've got to have a play around in some other areas and it's a fight, like it's never gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. So it is what it is. <laughs> well, it certainly was a good performance. And look, there was one submission exchange at the end of the second round, the armbar to the Omo Plata transition looked quite cringeworthy from cage side. Did, uh, did it feel tight when you were applying those submissions? Yeah, it felt tight. I thought I had it. I thought she was wedged, but, um, and I even thought for a second she tapped, but, um, she's really squirmy and she, she got out of it, so props to her. And look, before I let you go, I'm sure you've got a lot of people you'd like to thank. I'm sure leading which would be uh, Karyoti MMA. Yeah, 100%. Karyoti MMA, my team, um, they got the best, best wrestlers, best jiu-jitsu players, best strikers. So I've got it all and I think with that team that we can, we can go much further than, than we did tonight. Well, we can't wait to see where you go next. Ladies and gentlemen, the juggernaut remains undefeated.